Okay, you ready to get twisting? This is called a tulip twist. And it's called a tulip because that's exactly what we're going to make right now. We're going to make a tulip. And to make a tulip, you just need a little bitty puff of air in the end of the balloon. Tie your knot. Okay, now we're going to take this knot and I'll push it all the way down into here until I can grab that knot with these fingers. Okay, and it's kind of weird. Kind of have to hold the outside of the balloon, and as you stick your finger in, it keeps stretching and stretching, but eventually you can get to where you can grab that knot, and it's a little tough to pull your finger out, I have to admit. It does help if your finger's wet. So you could stick it in a glass of water, or it's less sanitary, but yeah, you could stick it in your mouth. Now you see I'm twisting this around a bunch of times, right there, and then I want to push that kind of back inside into the middle. Now look at how pretty, look at that. See now what else could that be? It looks kind of like maybe a pig nose. Yeah. Okay, but here's the magic tulip. You can say I have a magic tulip. And you say, what happens to a tulip if you don't water it? Well, if you don't water it, it wilts. It w oh. Well, let's put some water on it. Put some water, water, and boop. You can make it dance. And you do that with your fingers. So if you pinch it and roll it, see, you can make it go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. All right. Now, here's some other uses for that. I don't know, let's take this one. You guys have probably seen me use these funny looking balloons that look, sometimes they're called bee bodies because they're yellow with a black tip. This one's red. And sometimes people called these apple balloons because they made apples out of them. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. The same way that we just made that tulip. So I've blown some air in there and tying the knot. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this knot and do the same thing right through. And incidentally, if you're curious, this is actually technically called a 321. 260, 160, 350, all of that. Okay, now you can't see it, but I can feel that knot with these fingers. And then kind of roll your finger out carefully. Push it around so it looks right. Twist it around a bunch of times like that. And then push it back in a little bit. And look at that. You got an apple. There's the stem of the apple. There's the bottom of the apple. See? It looks an awful lot like an apple, doesn't it? But what if you don't have one of these kind of balloons? Let's improvise. So improvising is when you don't have exactly what you need and you use something else instead. And it's kind of what I'm having to do because I don't see my little, oh, there's my little pump. Okay, now blow this up. And actually I'm gonna blow this up all the way because I don't have a scrap. And I want the end of this to be nice and smooth like that. So I'm gonna take this, twist around a little bit, because I only want it to be about that long. <laughs> and let all the air out. And come down here a little bit and make a knot. Okay, now I don't need this great big long tail. I only want maybe that much for right now. Okay, now put this aside. And we're gonna blow up a round balloon. This is just a regular round, round balloon. And I don't want it to blow up much more than round, okay? Because you can blow it up and it gets really long like that. In fact, here, let's take a look and see what it looks like. I'll show you. Okay, see how it's no longer, doesn't look round? It has this big long thing on the end. We don't want it to look like that. We want it to be more, round okay and then i'm gonna tie a knot but i want to tie the knot way up here at this end not down here okay tie the knot okay so now we got this we can squish it to that weird shape all right 
Now we want to take this end and this and tie them together. And we want a nice big knot that we can grab onto because maybe you can tell what we're going to do next. Okay, I'm going to cut off this because we really don't need that. And I've seen people not even tie these things, tie it this like this. Oh, wait a minute. What you want handy is a little bit of scrap of a balloon or a whole balloon if that's the first thing you grab. Okay, so now I keep this nice and tight like that and put my finger right here and I'm gonna keep it keep the air tight but as I push in start letting it go just like that and I'm gonna find the, the very bottom and grab that knot pinch it pinch it right there and then twist it around and then we want to take this and wrap it around that's that strap and it's hard to tie this knot. What I do, the easiest way, honestly, is to grab this part in your teeth. Like that. Okay. And then you can tie a knot. And you can tie a knot. And I always tie a second one on there for good measure. Now, depending, we're just making an apple right now. But we could leave the big long piece right there and we could attach it to something else. Okay, and give this a little bit. So even if you don't have one of those fancy balloons, we can do this. And it's all that same kind of twist. When you do it on the end of the balloon, like I showed you making that, uh, usually that's called a tulip twist. When you put two balloons together, like doing this brown one and this red one, that's typically called a marriage twist. I guess it's kind of like their, their boyfriend and girlfriend and decide to get married, huh? That's kind of fun. Alrighty, there's some fun twisting for you. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.